uh, you are actually able to successfully harvest some of the uh, some of the roots from of the uh, nearby uh, plants around the uh, entrance. Let's send them down some samples. People will have not seen anything like this in their lives, so this will be something interesting to talk about. So yeah, Brienne is actually more focused, but Layla, uh, despite you saying it, you still can't believe this is real. So you are going to be slightly distracted by just everything around you and you will take a minus one to all rolls until the end of the scene same with Eris I imagine as she's trying to call it to attention there's just this bolt of lightning and she's just hypnotized by its power oh yeah actually you know what in fact because you are distracted and since Eris is distracted as well I will give you a fail forward opportunity and make me a perception roll as you're looking up into the sky uh, uh, while that is happening, Munchlax is going to start pick up. It's it's a Sounds minus good. one. Uh, that doesn't apply to this role specifically. Okay, gotcha. Oh uh, well, Eris is fucking sees God. Yes. Yeah, they do. Actually, kind of yes. <clears throat> oh my God. So, as you look up and you see a massive bolt of lightning, for a brief second, you see a gigantic jagged silhouette within the clouds emitting a massive flash of lightning that streaks across the sky but in a blink it is gone as the lightning just like shoots everywhere and unlightning you can just hear the faint sound of I just want you to know that the cat that I'm watching heard that noise, and she she looks so offended. <laughs> uh, Layla is gonna like just cut. She's gonna be staring at the at the lightning at the sky for. Layla, quite make some me time. make me an occult roll or a Pokemon education roll. Uh, what the hell was that? You don't know what that was, but you're sure there's something in the sky. Layla? And Layla? back to reality. L Layla? Uh, what? Nudge, did nudge with pokey uh, tusks. Uh, did... Looks up at you concerned. Did... Anybody else see that? Hey, boy! Hey, boy! Hey, boy! Lightning, yeah, it's like. It's like no, what Psyche no. can do, but a lot. No, 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 this was more than lightning. There was something else in there. When Eris starts making that noise, um, Ace is gonna pick her up. And say it's okay. I got you. She is trembling. Really that was really scary. I know. He's gonna put her in his hoodie. Oh. Can Nothing you describe can hurt it? you now. It's okay. I, uh, it, it, Layla's gonna kind of think about the dream that she had. Mm -hmm. Wonder for a moment, but then she's gonna she's gonna wonder if it seemed different, but she didn't remember the jagged parts of it. Um, so she's gonna kind of shake her head and say, "It it it wasn't like the dream. It was very spiky, like spiky. The, yeah, like the lightning." Like, none of you heard it screaming. Nope. None of you I heard, heard that. I heard the thunder. But lightning doesn't scream, Layla. I know. I know it doesn't. Maybe all this air is getting to your head. Maybe. <laughs> Brienne cuddles you, trying to ground you and reassure you. Layla is gonna take some of her cloak and she's gonna she's gonna tear it off and she's gonna 
Uh, <clears throat> she's gonna make a little cloak for Brienne and tie it around her. Oh, that's adorable! And she's gonna pick up Brienne and say, you know what? It doesn't matter because we have a job that we need to do. Are you ready to go do this? Chirps <laughs> excitedly. You guys ready to go? I've got ready the coordinates pulled up. So you guys make your way through this new gigantic and stormy city. As you do. Um Professor Grand Oak will provide a map on your Pokedex to track your position and keep you on uh trail with the coordinates. Rebuilders, if I may ask something of a personal favor, as strange as it sounds for an AI to have a personal request. What? Uh, hold on. Not at all. Could our Pokemon gears work out here? Apparently so. You're still connected oh. to Pokemon Home. Oh, I turned mine off. I thought we had roaming charges. No, no. Jakob, I've been, I've been Those using are expensive. my entire time. Don't you go, those are expensive. No, we're... Anyway, what is it that you want? He's, well, he's pulling out his poker gear as he's <laughs> making fun of you. Well, you see, the thing is, having seen the new world and just how vastly different everything is from the records, I... I'm amazed at it all, and yet... It's troubling because, well, after all this change uh, over the course of over a hundred years, I think it's safe to say that our old Pokedex is obsolete at this point. So, I would be most grateful if all of you guys could help me Refill the Pokedex. Oh, that was the plan from the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> Totoshi is very enthusiastic. Yep. Like, like, just kind of like nodding and... I had a feeling I could count on you, Toshiko. But it would also mean the world to me if the rest of you could help with this. You would be helping the, re the Rebuilders Corps and the Cloister as well in doing so. No problem, so Green Daddy Oak. I suppose it would be advantageous to add to our team. The more the merrier. Indeed. Plus the more we know about Pokemon, the more we know about this new world. I'm looking at the uh, old buildings and everything, wondering like what they once were for. Like, is was that a house? Was that a Poke Center? Like, just like mm -hmm. AJ's generally trying to basically take a step back into the past and imagine what they were. Oh, that's good. If we see any kind of, like, ruined signs or things we look like signs, if we can get close to them or nearby, we can try maybe, like, clean them up, wipe them down, get debris off, whatever, and Toshiko can take some pictures and stuff for us. Nice. Use them as trail markers. Yeah, definitely good stuff. We can catalog what's around here. Like, if any of these buildings look like they're still somewhat sound, we can at least catalog them for other people to search later. All right. Then, yeah. And then Cece will chime in. Not that I am objecting for a second, Professor Grand Oak, but I guess I am a little curious. Where did this request sort of come from? I mean, I didn't know an AI could, you know, want something. Well, I guess it may stem from my, uh... I suppose you could call it my predecessor. Long ago, Professor Oak had the dream of filling out the Pokedex after he first created it. And well, being designed off of his family line, I... <laughs> I suppose you could say it runs in the family. 
I have a... It may just be my own programming, but I do have a desire to... learn and understand about Pokémon and the world and... to try and bring everyone closer together through that knowledge. A noble goal as ever, Professor, and I'm happy to help. Thank you, Cecilia. Thank you all. Now then, I'll let you guys get back to your mission, and I'll help you however I can. You see a very large building, actually not very large, a relatively medium-sized building nearby, comparative to many of the other buildings, uh, covered in thorns and leaves and other forms of ivy, its windows are like busted and rotted out, uh, its foundations are eroded, and it has, and it's, uh, it has a sign out front that looks like it's kind of been worn down by the ages, and it's covered in, uh, moss and vines. I'm gonna remove the, uh, moss and the vines and try to clear up the sign as best as I can. Uh... The sign reveals letters that say Vermilion City Pokemart. I take a picture. As soon as you take that picture and have that picture recorded, you will then also all hear the sound of a terrible commotion that sounds like a mixture of just like cacophonous shrieking of all different kinds along with electrical crackling in the distance. Uh... Oh boy. Is it similar to what Layla and AJ heard before? Uh... No, this sounds very different, and all of you hear it. Um, okay, because I figured I would have seen them react differently if it was the same. Yep. Make me a Pokémon education role, trainers. Jesus! This is my thing! <laughs> Most of the cries sounded like they came from... They sound similar to cries... Like that of Electrike in the records. And it sounds like they might be chasing prey. Wild Electrike? Maybe? Probably? Well, chasing something. We have to investigate! That? Besides, it lies from the positioning of the sound. It uh, seems to be interlocked Toshiko with your coordinates. Leaving. Say what? We're going that way anyway. Like, Toshiko is already headed yep. in, that, in the direction. Toshiko's got Toshiko, the idea! Stop, 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 stop! Mm. Toshiko does not Where stop. Stay Can together! If Toshiko's not stopping, we've all got to follow. Let's go. Yep. As soon as Toshiko goes off running, that's when AJ goes off running. Oh, oh my god. Alright. Alright. We're gonna need a leash for Toshi. And with that, you guys will find yourselves at this location! There we go! Boom! And you see before you a pack of electrics standing around a large tree with uh, make Pokemon education rolls. I'm just here for the jog. Right. Like clearly, these are exactly what they are. All right, cool. So those of you who got uh, five or better, you recognize Bulbasaur and Lickitung. Um. You can only assume that these things are electric because you've never seen them before, really, and you have absolutely no idea what this or this Pokemon is. Wait, Oh, what? fuck, there's a Pokemon there. I didn't even see I, that. Yeah, yeah, I didn't even... Yeah, I only is see there? four. really close. Is that like a... I, I know what that oh, is. Oh, okay. oh, oh, I see it, I see it. Sorry, it's yeah, very, this very one. small. Yeah, oh, it. yeah, okay. Yep. I don't see it, so I will zoom in. Yeah, I'm like 190% to finally see the thing. 
Oh, Jesus Christ, it is so tiny. Yep. <laughs> and it blends right in. What? Right? <laughs> I thought you were, like, ch clicking on the blue stuff yep. and just missing. That said, uh, those of you who uh, did better, give me just a second. Dover, so, our Pokedex is obsolete at this point. What, did they just release Sword Shield here? <laughs> cute. Hey Alright, yeah, I know. Um, so, Layla, you are able to recognize the Electrike as well as the uh, Burmy hanging in the tree. Um, but the other one is uh, new to you. Toshiko, though, you recognize that as a Grookey, a Pokemon from the Galar region. find all these specimens like sharing an ecosystem in vermilion city is very interesting i take a picture <laughs> from the looks of Where's things it? it looks like the electric are pursuing uh the bulbasaur and the grookey and they've taken refuge within this tree and this lickitung is apparently fighting on their behalf and as you guys show up, suddenly their attentions will turn to you as well, and they will begin to snarl and crackle. I'm getting one of you thunder dogs. All right, everyone, get ready for initiative. Let's do this. So let me just look at this. Right, so I'm just gonna roll a die real quick. It's not a Pokemon capture die, but you'll yep. understand. Uh, hey, Lickitung, you're not shiny. I already determined that. Oh, okay. You already determined that I'm sad. Great. <laughs> yeah, so, first up is Psyche. Psyche is going to try and distract the the Electrike right there. All right. Uh, with a charm. Uh, try and make him a little bit less accurate. Uh, not accurate. Attack. Mm -hmm. Reduces less. his attack. You're going to make them less attack-urate. <laughs> Pikachu is gonna go over here and place it uh, stands defensively in front of the grass types so I'll move my ballsy Eevee up there and roll quick attack alright it might help if you know I actually went to the right page <laughs> Uh, physical, so it's this one. 14. Uh, yeah, that's a hit. So, 22 damage to that Electric. And now it is the Electric's turn. Oh boy. So. This one will see Pikachu moving in towards their prey and uh, start growling and then it will run up and tackle Pikachu fuck what did you think was gonna happen <laughs> is Pikachu making a shock Pikachu face <laughs> Run, runs up to be defensive gets attacked by Electrike shock Pikachu face Electrike, but yes yeah that's what I meant the lion the witch and the audacity of this bitch <laughs> uh six natural six do you have enough evasion to avoid that um let me see uh you need psyche. five more evasion oh five of it no I've only got uh I don't have that much. I've got three evasions, so you need All a right. five to hit me. Alright, yeah, so that's that's a six, so that'll hit. So, 20 points of damage to Pikachu. Physical. Minus five, 15 Eight. points of damage. And this next one is going to uh, attack Lickitung. 
his uh, partner will then go and attack the now uh, less defensive Lickitung. I was going to say softened Lickitung, but that just sounds worse. Yeah, that'll hit. Jeez, it does that on a struggle? It has an ability that boosts its struggle. Whoa. Oh boy. Luckily, Lickitung has very good defenses and very high HP. So it doesn't. So it's not too bothered by that. So yeah, the next one will. Shoot at. Um. The Bulbasaur. Yep, that's within range. As it launches a shockwave. Shocking. Shockwave does... cannot miss. Yep. But Bulbasaur resists it at least, so. Okay, yeah, that didn't do a whole lot to Bulbasaur, thankfully. And then finally. It's the one that got attacked by the Eevee. It is going to look at that Eevee and be like, Oh, hell no! And then... It will use Shockwave on Eevee. Rude. Eevee will take 25 points of damage before... Before, uh, before defenses. So minus its special defense. Brienne! Uh, she is going to use... She is going to use Dragon Breath on this Dragon launcher. Rage? That's what I mean. That's cool. the one that I mean. Alright. Alright. Uh, ignore the 17, it just does 15 damage. Yeah, so it goes down, but you see its eyes, like, fluttering open as it is struggling to stand up. It fainted is... or no? Say what? It, uh, it's not fainted. It is barely hanging on. Okay! Layla. If this guy is struggling to get to keep his eyes open. Uh, Layla is gonna use this opportunity. She needs to get closer. So... Uh, she's gonna go... One... And remember, two, you don't three, have to be right next to it to throw, to throw the Pokeball unless your throwing distance is garbage. Four. Um... How do I determine throwing difference? Her power is five. Uh, four plus athletic modifier. Oh, four plus athletic? Yeah. What's your athletics rank? Oh! <laughs> Her athletics rank is novice, so she can throw up to seven if she wanted to. Hang on. Yeah. yeah. You can lob that shit. Away. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, yeah, she could She could technically throw up there. But there's people in the way. Uh -huh. Um. So... Just a Plus, getting, getting our bodyguard up in front might be helpful. Yeah. So I'm one, two, three, four, five into the gra into the grassy terrain, and I'm going to throw a pokeball at this electric. God damn it! You missed. Whoa, language. Okay, yeah. <laughs> You wind back, but then, like, you stumble and the Pokeball falls out of your hands. I'm gonna pick up- and it, I'm, I'm gonna pick- And it breaks on the ground. Damn it! Nat one, baby. Yeah. Good thing I have more. Um, it was this one that attacked Eevee, right? Yeah, the one that I tried to catch. Yep. It's barely standing if you want to try and catch it. Yeah, how did, like, how did you do that? Roll a d20. The AC you're looking for is six. 
Oh, jeez. <laughs> Are you kidding me? God, the dice fucking hate you guys. What the hell is this? This is a legendary tower. <laughs> oh, now we have to have it. This is the Zapdos. <laughs> oh my god. Ace is gonna move two, three, four, five. So yeah, you go to uh, grab a Pokeball, but the but from the wetness of your hands on the rain, it slips out of your hands and breaks on the ground. <laughs> I will minus one ball. Alright. So Polly will go first. As uh, it will help out um, Pikachu and uh, it will spray the one that Pikachu attacked, assuming you can reach it, with Water Gun. It's your overland speed. Three. Yeah, with a move and a gun, that should be enough. You should be in range. Yeah. Absolutely. One, two, three. Yep. Yeah, it'll barely put it in range. Brrr. Yeah, that'll hit. Alright. That looks like it wore it down somewhat. Burmy's just vibing. And next up is Lickitung. Who will, uh... See the one that attacked the Pikachu. And, uh... It is going to... Go lick it! Do you know where that's been? It's like licking a battery. Paralyzed. <laughs> Except it's an electric type, so it can't get paralyzed. Still, a hefty slam from Lickitung's tongue has left that electric, uh, looking a little wobbly. Wow. Wow. Pikachu is going to use uh, a, a dirty trick. Uh, Pikachu is going to go low blow um, to try and uh, slow this thing down. Oh, nice. Uh, so, opposed acrobatics checks. If I win, the target is vulnerable and has their initiative set to zero until the end of my next turn. Oh! Uh, the one diagonally up from you? Yes. Just double checking. Alright. Second. Oh my god, there's almost no way it's going to be able to match that. <laughs> Acrobatics is not one of its skills, so... Yeah, it is mathematically impossible for it to reach that. Nice. Beautiful. It's going to go last. Cool. Uh, Pikachu is then going to uh, climb the tree to get out of these things' reach. Uh... He throws a berry at Pikachu. This is my treat! <laughs> Pikachu will, like, nod in shared suffering towards Grookey and just kind of, like, pose defensively uh, against the... against the dogs. That will provoke an attack of opportunity. That said, it's only a struggle, and you would resist it. Okay, go for it. Alright, here we go. So, 12 damage before defenses. 
Ouch. Holly is going to move here and one, two. So the ground where rough terrain starts? Uh, yeah. Gotcha. And then it is going to launch a water gun at this electric. Is it just quiet? Yeah, it is. Ah, that's that's gonna miss. Poor Polly. Ooh. Oh, also, I totally fucking forgot. It's rainy, so water moves are boosted. Not that it matters. Uh, not one, they're not enough. Nope. <laughs> and now, Eris is going to tackle something. Eris is going to... Notice that both Layla and her trainer were throwing weird balls at this dude. It knows what a Pokeball so, is. Yeah, so, well, she's never in one, but yeah. Oh, that's right, she isn't really in one, but yeah. Neither is mm -hmm. Brienne. So she's going to go and tackle this dude instead. Alright, I'm going to say that you make a shift action, or not shift, a, uh, uh, there's basically a you can. It's yeah, called a disengage. Yeah. yeah, you can disengage and shift one square to not provoke an attack of opportunity. Yep. Yes. Yeah, the game. That's a shift move, right? Yeah, that is a shift move, but it's called a disengage. Cool. Because move actions are called shift actions, so yep. shifting as relates to other systems. Yep. No worries. Just anyway, so roll it. Bam! Ooh. Alright. That's the worst damage you can do? That's still pretty good. Alright, yeah, that's gonna take it out. <laughs> Score one for Evie. She is both cute and vicious. Do not test her. She bites. Huh? <sighs> Alright, this one is going to continue with Assault on Lickitung. Uh, and it will blast it with a shockwave. Alright, Lickitung is still standing and it's still looking like it can fight, but it looks like it's starting to wear down. Meanwhile, this one is going to see that Eevee just took out its buddy, so it is going to uh, not appreciate that very much, and it is going to go assist its other friend and attack Eevee. Um, Eevee will be considered flank, so has minus two to evasion. Wonderful. That's so wonderful. It is for the electric. No! I command Eevee to kick their butt. No! Alright. Eevee takes 19 damage before defenses. Oh, baby! So, 12 actual damage? Presumably. Which then, uh, leaves the crippled one. It barely has the energy to stand, but it is going to let out a shockwave against Eevee. Now listen here, you little shit. I take a picture of the shockwave. Alright. Now you listen here, you little shit. <laughs> 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 No. That's 30 damage before special defense. Brienne! <laughs> Brienne, Brienne is gonna see Eris is in trouble. So mm. she's gonna move one, two, three. Yep. And she knows she knows that either Mom or Ace is gonna eventually get this one. Mm -hmm. So she's going to use her Dragon Rage to try and grab this one's attention. Okay, yeah, roll to hit. Alrighty then. That'll work. Alright, so that's 15 damage to that electric. 
All right, Grookey. It will see Pikachu and see that it has uh, been fighting for, but also looks sees it's a little banged up. It will hand it an Ornberry. Thanks. Round two, Layla. All right, one of us is gonna get this damn thing. All right. All right, here we go. Oh, just barely. All right, so it hits. All right, so then. That doesn't catch. Just a second. Um, so you throw the Pokeball. I said, okay, there we go. Come on, seriously. Work with me, work with me, damn it. All right, and now. Oh, you got a sound effect. All right, roll D100. Alex, what are you waiting? Oh, sorry. Um, <laughs> and made risotto. Um, mm. With like peas and Layla? cheese there and go. salami, I think, in here. All right. God, it's just, I keep reading the calculating capture rates and going, oh, I can't understand that today. Please. It's looking good, but still. You've successfully caught Electrike. <gasps> She's gonna go and retrieve. Uh, the ball. Does the oh, ball right. like uh, shoot and back to us or anything, or like how does it work mechanically? Uh, basically, it's there and you can pick it up. Yeah, she's gonna she's gonna go and retrieve it, knowing that she's now in range of this guy too. Oh crap! No! Here, I'll move her. You I go got inside it. the Pokeball. <laughs> no! no. I'm, I'm sorry. I'll put you, you back in initiative. Just... You had, uh, a, you're with me. You had eight, eight, right? Yeah. Yeah. You know, it, it works just fine because your turn just passed, so you're, you're right where you need to be. Yakum! Exactly. Speaking of hand now, or and berries, here's one for Lickitung. It'll snatch that shit up! But first, I want you to approach and make me a charm roll. Absolutely. This is the first time that I've dealt with this Lickitung, so I would like to use my skill stump for first impression. That is absolutely appropriate here. It sees you have food, and it sees that you are approaching in a non-hostile manner, and it has also seen that you are with the things that have uh, been beating up these electric bullies. So, it is willing to trust you. Okay, let me take it off my inventory. Alright. Bulbasaur will see the fight turning in you guys' favor, and it will see Toshiko calling out for it, and, uh... It's deciding that it might actually be a little safer with you, so it's going to start moving back towards Toshiko. But it's going to move over here for its final step. Get further away from the fight. Smart. Burmy's still just vibing. It's a whole mood. So Ligatung is going to devour that Orin Berry for what is it, five HP? Yes. And then let's see. Uh, yeah, he's gonna see if he can't finish off this Electrike or the Ligatung is. I mean, I don't think we've done anything with the Vibin one. <laughs> Burmy's nah, just, just there. Got it. He's just there. That's yep. the name of the Pokemon if anyone catches it, by the way. <laughs> Vibing? Vibing. The Vibing one. Oh my yes. god, I love it. There it is, and... Ah, oh, what a shame! Oh no! <laughs> now the target is uncomfortable. <laughs> I'm suddenly getting... Uh, I'm suddenly getting vibes from your... Uh, your Nuzlocke playthrough. Right. Disappointed. <laughs> Jesus. 
Robin! God, Polly World is so tiny. No! <laughs> Why are you touching me? Robin just like moves over, picks up a picks up a chain, places him down, moves back over, <laughs> slides him back into the square. AJ's okay. just like, what just happened? Uh, I believe I can do enough damage to take out this electric as long as I don't continue our proud tradition of natural wild. <laughs> <laughs> that is the exact opposite of a natural one. All right, so that's off the board. Yeah, you might kill that thing if I were using lethal rules for this combat. I am not intending to kill it, so... Uh, I am not letting okay. killing be a thing in this fight. <laughs> oh god. I will tell you guys when killing is a thing. It's nap time. <laughs> Sleepy time. <laughs> so 47, yeah, it, its defense is nowhere near high enough to resist that. <laughs> yeah. uh, BAM! That, that's the turn. Absolutely ridiculous. Pikachu sticks her tongue out at this electric. Neener, neener. Jesus Christ. Down. And it's gonna shockwave Pikachu. Okay. Um, I am going to use quick attack the next. All right, cool. So you, know. you will have priority then. All right. Uh, Pikachu will take fourteen damage before defenses. Okay. So four damage. And However, Pikachu that gets an injury. I think that might actually provoke an attack of opportunity from Lickitung, though. It does. It's a ranged attack yep. uh, against a non-adjacent. Yep, okay then. So Lickitung is absolutely going to exploit that with a struggle. The struggle plus review. <laughs> Does. Okay. It has evasion, probably, so that probably. Yeah, doesn't. it barely Wait, avoids no, it. No! Oh. No! Because it's vulnerable, its evasion doesn't apply. Oh, yeah! Oh, nice! Fucking A! <laughs> Alright! So, 16 damage before defenses, and. That'll just take it out! What? And then finally, or no, now we're back at the top. Evie is going to use quick attack. Boom boom. Boop boop. Boop Because she is a race car. All right, that'll be twenty-three damage before defenses. I keep saying that like I have to remind everybody. Yeah, that looks like it hit it kind of hard, and it looks like it's kind of staggering a bit. All right. Uh, Psyche is out. gonna... I mean, I don't really have anything that can damage it very well, uh, so I'm gonna charm it. No! Yeah. Oh. No, I don't. Oh my god, it's an infection! The fumbles! Everybody's fumbling! Oh lord. So now, now you made it uncomfortable and it made you uncomfortable. <laughs> Everybody's uncomfortable. Alright. Now it is going to use Thunderwave on uh, Eevee. My sweet baby girl. Eris is now paralyzed. My sweet baby girl. I take a picture of Thunderwave. Stop All taking right. pictures of it! Grookey's actually gonna go and try and get some payback! That'll hit! 
as it jumps down from the tree and scratches at the electrike with its little stick. And that scratch will... Uh-huh. Yeah, that'll take it out! Now, time to adopt a very non-threatening stance, so we don't do anything that would potentially make these new people a scary Can I try to capture, uh... This little guy now? You may. Kidding me? Breaks against the tree! <laughs> Ace is gonna try one more time before we got he gives up. the most bunk piece of shit Pokeballs. <laughs> the Pokeballs don't suck, it's the trainers lopping them that suck. The trainers right. sabotage all of the Pokeballs. Yeah, that's what happened. Alright, so roll a d100 while I uh, make some calculations. Oh, you get it. it! You get Never it! Never mind! What? <laughs> That's a critical capture if I ever saw one. Yeah. Yep. If I rolled that on one of these Pokemon, they'd be shiny. Uh, legally, wow. that is your Pokemon. Alright. Um, I'm not going to lie. I am honestly going to name him the vibing one. All right, you now have a Burmy registered to your Pokedex. Excellent. Wonder if Cece wants to try and catch Grookey. Uh, Toshi will lead the Bulbasaur over to see. We're really nice, and uh, and she'll take great care of you. <laughs> hey, Polly, you want a Bulbasaur? Oh my gosh! It's so And so Polly will try to charm sword. it. <laughs> Humans aren't so bad. We can help out. Ba, ba, ba. It looks hesitant but trusting towards uh, CC. Hey, Bulbasaur. My name's CC. It's so nice to meet you. Sure. Do you want to come with us? It looks between you and CC, and then uh, it sort of like looks to you like, is it safe? Toshi gives a thumbs up. We'll give you lots of food and make sure you're healthy and 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 then Toshiko mm -hmm. just. Takes a picture of Cece and Bulbasaur together. Ba -ba! This one's this one's going in the cloister highlights. Aww. Pikachu's definitely gonna thank Grookey whenever it gets around to. Pikachu. <laughs> oh, Psyche, did you make a friend? Well, hello there. Wait, How are branch. you doing? Did you Gro did you help Psyche? Grookey's just gonna sort of like look over the fainted electric and just sort of like look all proud of itself, holding its stick up triumphantly. Great work! Oh, you're a very strong Grookey, aren't you? <coughs> Do you want to come with us? <coughs> Tilt its head. We'll make sure you have plenty of food. We'll make sure you stay nice and healthy and safe. We're trying to save a friend of ours. Roll charm. Which can be substituted, obviously, because you're you. I use my Poke Psychologist. <laughs> Loving them 19s today. Right? This, this is what I do. <laughs> I don't think, like, on what? any Pokemon education, I don't think that you rolled anything else but a 19. Not today. So it's like just gonna like no, look to it. you. It's gonna look over at its stick and over at the uh, electric and at Pikachu. And it's gonna sort of like look at you and just sort of like point to its stick curiously. 
Which, um... That's... That's not how rolling works, Robin. Uh, are you sure? Because Pokemon education is always 19. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Alright. No, and, uh, Toshiko, you're basically intuiting that it's asking if it will get stronger if it goes with you. Oh, of right. course. Stick with us and you'll be the strongest Grookey uh, that I know, certainly. <laughs> its eyes just sort of like glimmer as stars sort of like appear as it just like pictures the thought of it being strong. And then it will just start like jumping joyfully and excitedly. Toshiko will walk over and pick up her dropped Pokeball yep. and just kneel down and offer it to Grookey. It then will um, tap the Pokeball and... And on a nap one, breaks it in half. <laughs> <laughs> no, Grookey, that's not how you use your stick. Snagger, no! <laughs> All right, Grookey is now yours. Aww. Heck yeah. 